and here's the reason why. So if I'm a man and I'm delusional and I think I'm a 10 and I step to a girl who's a 10, I'm getting rejected every single time. The way men get rejected is up front immediately. If I step to a girl who's frankly out of my league, I'm cut off of everything. I can't get anything from her. I can't get a date. I can't get a conversation. I certainly can't get casual sex. Now with bringing up casual sex, I think you might know where I'm about to lead to. You as women can secure casual sex from men who are outside of your league, whether that's status, whether that's looks, whether that's personality. You guys can sleep with men who are outside of your league. They'll never give you commitment. And that's precisely why it's more important for women to be based in reality when it comes to their looks than men, although it ultimately doesn't matter because even if a man is delusional, he's just going to get curved and rejected by girls who are out of his leagues. That's your league. So an average 19-year-old chick who's just good looking can fuck a famous rapper an athlete, doesn't mean you can get commitment. The difference here is, is that as a man, if I can sleep with a girl, there's a very good chance I can get her in a relationship. I can't say the same thing about women. Just because you can sleep with a guy doesn't mean you can get him into a relationship. So that's why I think it's important to be like, hmm, am I fucking with a guy outside my league? If I think I'm a 10, because you'll think you're entitled to a relationship with a guy who's out of your league, but really he's just using you, which I object to. I don't think that's right. But you got to move in the world how it is. And the way it is is you're going to have hyper-attractive guys who just want sex from you. And if that's the, the current dating meta and you think you're hot shit, you think you're a 10, you think you're a baddie, but you can't get commitment from all these dudes could be that you're curving the dudes who are actually on your level, who'd be prepared to give you commitment, who'd be loyal, who'd treat you well. And that's why you end up hearing all these women complaining about all these fuck boys, they just want to fuck, they don't want commitment. There's probably dudes who'd be prepared to commit to you. Think, I'm fucking this guy who's this attractive, this other guy over here wants to give me commitment, Mike but I'm Davis not attracted to him because I can fuck this guy who's really attractive Brian, who won't give me don't. commitment. Mike Davis, you can't say that, bro. Thank you, Mike Davis, appreciate it, bro. That was a good call there, Nick, too. Might I extend to Mr. Davis, though, that I do appreciate the $200 dono and completely agree with you, but I, you know, you, you can't uh, play the Super bro. Chat. Burmese Mountain Tiger for the gifted 20 subs. Appreciate it, though. I mean, Mike Davis, I appreciate your patronage. Just we got to be careful with uh, TOS here, man. Okay, cool. So where was I? I think I pretty much made my point, but yeah. I guess just newsflash, really attractive fuckboys will sleep with average mid-girls, and average mid-girls think, I can get that guy, and they'll just keep falling from dick to dick to dick, thinking they can get that guy in a relationship, but they can't, and then the guys who are actually in their league, in their level, y'all just curving these dudes who, like, are in your league, and who are prepared to commit to you, give you, etc., do you guys disagree? I don't know. Maybe. No, women don't fuck dudes outside of their league. Never happens. No, women. No, average mid girls don't have access to like famous rappers and musicians. Like famous. I'm telling you, famous women don't ever fuck with like. I mean, it happens rarely, but like they're usually dealing with like guys on their level. But like, what makes you feel so confident? Like, who are you to say that to a woman? What, again? what he's saying is facts. What? Like women can always get sex. It doesn't matter. Yeah, That's that not... part is correct, but not the part that actually has to do with physicality. He's saying, oh, a handsome guy is not gonna get with a girl that's physically ugly. I see so many rich, handsome men end up marrying a woman that's not even as physically attractive to him. She's like not even at that level. She's just like a cute, normal, regular girl. So are you advocating so you're that women av should you're advertising be that women should league? you're advertising that women should just stay in their place and not go for the man that they want. And then if you have someone that you want and that they are a righteous man, go for it. No matter what he okay, looks so like. Okay, so this is what happens. This is what happens typically. So you have like typically. huge, huge swaths of women who throughout their 20s are chasing after these hyper-attractive men. They'll spend their 20s fucking attractive dudes, never getting commitment. Because and why then are you fucking once all these men? 30, that's why this once, once they're 30, okay, let me settle down. And it makes for a terrible marriage. 
because she, she thinks she's settling, but it's actually a dude in her league. She's going to treat that guy like shit. She's going to resent that's him. Her karma. She wasn't able, how it's her karma to ruin a dude's life no, because she couldn't her. get the fucking hyper successful life. dudes who he she could her. fuck in her prime. Who's well, I sort of got cut off here, but I was basically just responding to her. Like, that's what's happening. How is it false knowledge? Because you're, you're using, no, no. like, you're not even using, like, a statistical basis. You're using your opinionated statements to say that women should only talk to these certain men. If you you're going to sleep yeah, around, do. then do this. Like, you're, you're going to get, you're going to use and abuse if you're going to go for a hyper-attractive male. And I just think that's not a positive thing to say or a factual, evident thing to say because there's no evidence. There's no those. evidence that fuckboys exist? But that you, doesn't mean he's hyper-attractive. Hold on, hold on. Who you wants a fuckboy? It's are, all about energy. It's all about all, everything, not just all girls physical, complain about fuck boys after they get fucked by them. But he doesn't mean Are he's you delusional? handsome? There's some girl like if she, I, she thinks, oh, he's hot, and I'm like, that guy is so ugly. Yeah, cool. We don't you have, have different... the same hyper attractive. Yes, like, sure, is. people have differences, but like there are some men that like vast swaths of women will <laughs> tend to agree that those men are really physically attractive. Dating apps have released this data. Women swipe on only like the top 10% of men on those dating apps. So these dating apps where women are made basically essentially making assessments almost near exclusively or purely just on looks. In any case, you've been interrupting all night and it's just you gotta let people finish their point. How could it be the case then that there's a cohort of men on dating apps that get almost all of the attention on the dating apps and they're running through chicks? I never even cursed at nobody up in here, so I just No, didn't there's like more that. than one way to be rude to somebody and you're constant interrupting. Mm -hmm. I think we're all tired. None of us have energy because you literally argue to just argue. Like the answer is simple yes or no, and then you wanna argue. And it's like getting tired because I don't even have the energy to interject because I'm over it. He asks you literally a question, and you're like, but this is... It's no, like, oh the my God, you are delusional. Asking, so answer yes person. or no, let's keep it on topic, and let's fucking have great conversations. Yeah. Because none of us want to get involved anymore. Yeah, I you agree, guys but I'm not arguing to, to argue. You. you are. You literally are. I'm arguing, arguing my you. point of view. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm you don't let them my finish. Point of view. You don't let them finish. Everyone's been respectful. You don't let them finish, and you just want to like literally respond to respond. It's like combative. I hate to say that, I, but some like our Middle Eastern women, our women are like so combative that it's like you have to prove your point. You don't have to prove your point. It's a conversation. Mm -hmm. Listen to what he's saying. Half of the time, Andrew's saying exactly what you're fucking saying, but you're not even listening to him. I and am. You're just like literally just. That's not true. You're talking. I'm still talking. Because you keep learn going. Learn to listen. Like, no, That's what the I fuck you've been doing all night. To. Just learn to listen for a second. It's nice to shut the fuck up sometimes well, and listen. you aren't even understanding no, what the no. hell. Literally, sometimes it's, it's the power. Back. No, it's okay. So, no, that's it's fine. Okay. It's exhausting. My God. You can do what you want. Fuck, it's exhausting to oh, listen to the same oh, shit. Well, he well, was calling running? on her multiple times. You kept saying the girl with the Italia, whatever yeah, it's shirt. because she just wants to argue over he nothing. Because none of us like communicate with them. Nobody else was speaking up. That's her fucking own fault. Okay, Where then that's about, fine. Then I'm leave not even it alone. To you then about leave that. it alone. Then just leave, leave it, alone. it alone. Leave it alone. What? They can't have an actual conversation. conversation. We, we haven't had a new one. conversation the whole night because they want to have we w we're trying to, Let's but they want right to they want to run out. So Let's it's literally right simple. Now. If you want to have a conversation, you listen, you reciprocate, you understand <laughs> each other's points. It's like just to say to because you want to voice out what you want to say. It's like to want to be heard. That's just ridiculous. No, fuck that. Weren't those chicks your ride, bro? No, first of all, I drove them here. We slid from Los Angeles, LA, <laughs> oh, Hollywood, there. California. She's there. Yeah. No, she's... are they really leaving though? Because then I nah, just... oh, no, they, they can't leave. Yeah, dude, they, where are they, they at? They walked out, bro. They walked out. Burmese, thank you for the gift of 10 subs. What? They rage quit? Yeah, it was a rage quit. See, that's the thing. Like, that's oh, literally what? the childish shit. If you're going to run your mouth all day and then somebody checks you, you're going to run out, that's bitch move. Sit down and ha take it. Didn't you want to keep talking Andrew and talking dumb? and talking. Didn't they call Andrew dumb? It's your really so. leaving <laughs> You and nah, I have God. God. contact. We're like, no, you're, 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 no, you're the power. <laughs> you have all the leverage and all the power. Yo, Burmese mountain tiger, thank you for the it's gift of 50 subs. Power, you got, got all the leverage. I feel like I just got my Oh, they're chilling, bro. They went to go They went to go get the smoothie. I literally feel like I just got my energy back. I know. I'm like, fuck. No, seriously. Seriously, here's the thing. Like, I'm all for debate. Yeah, right. W's in the chat. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt oh, you. No, I didn't know who they're... I'm saying, like, I love watching this show, and it's yeah, like a yeah. debate of back and forth. But, like, even the ones I've watched, people, like, women just 
listen. They don't listen to anything that you've said. They just want to talk. It's like you literally We're have asked 50. Talk. I get it. But when somebody asks you, you answered like a normal person. He's like, hey, rate yourself. Or it's a yes or no question. You simple and say yes or no. Well, I don't know. Well, the fucking sky is blue. Is so I think my answer fine. might be you know, topics to be passionate about. And you just want to <laughs> fucking uh, argue about everything. That's no, exhasting. They were no. just passionate w about Rachel. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. No. You be passionate more I'm, I'm passionate about it, but I'm not Jeez. ignorant to just fucking want to talk out of nothing. I don't need to yeah, prove my point. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. It's whatever. Yo, W, w for whatever. you, though, for uh, coming. His my defense. Granted, probably shouldn't have told her to shut the fuck up, but yes, she was see? fucking interrupting. I mean, you said it for all of us. I feel like you were very oh, did patient. I? Did I no, yeah. Oh, I did? Yeah. I thought you I was the bad guy. No, I was getting no. Maybe a little bit. Just no, you have you're to fine. Be for us. <laughs> I mean, it's not, bit. but here's the thing. You have been very patient. I feel like you you don't lose your temper. If you were losing your temper, like, I think we all were making eye contact. We were all yeah. exhausted. <laughs> like, Andrew's just <laughs> the only one that has the energy to go back and forth. <laughs> we were just literally tired because we're like, I don't want to even interject and talk to anyone because it's like the same conversation, same thing going back and forth. Can we have our new guests introduce yeah. themselves? <laughs> I'm Madison. I'm Morgan. The faces of Sweet. whatever. Sweet. Okay, cool. Wow, that was a good time. Rage quit. Major rage quit. I feel like the Wait, vibration really just gone? raised in this Dude, corner. Dude, the vibrations <laughs> have... have, have uh, but I, I still don't understand. Um, perhaps you can enlighten me. Why exactly did, did, did they, they, they go? I, I the, just general donated We've had to some really close. contentious Wait, when Italia spoke on whatever. I felt a struggle. That was not in. one of them. Just Gerald. Well, okay. I said the words, shut the fuck up. And, and then, then she I said, said as well. shut. I yeah, said, I did. what did I say? Hold on. What did I... Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no. I said it like that. Like, that was kind of crazy, yo. I said, and as then a, she said it too. I didn't like, tell her. I said, as a woman, there's a time here. that you need to learn to shut the fuck up and listen. That is very true. Oh, a lot come of times, on, picnic know, dress. Crazy. You've been a savage the whole night. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about somebody saying some shit. You don't no, care. I do. Right? That's what I've been trying you're having, to Because you're having though, a good combo. Like... So what actually led up to this, that I don't really understand. We have had way more brutal combos with people on whatever. I mean, way more. I just feel like I, I'm actually surprised oh, they, they rage quit. Nickelodeon really donated two hundred dollars. Oh, Nickelodeon, bro! Dribble, He's dribble. a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Dude, Nickelodeon, you're a legend. Really good to see you back in the chat, man. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for the dono, TTS. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Is that like drizzle, drizzle, or some shit? But okay, well. I don't Please. Mean, no, you should no, I, because I brought them You've here. You've been they awesome. They invited me here. Me, why why are you going to let them mess you up? You've had a great I night. I drove them here because they invited Wait, me. Should, Wait, should we try friends? to get them back? Yeah. Yes. 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 Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm I bring him back. That has no come back. There. Like, we Wait, are all here. I got an idea. Stay there. Preference. Hold on. I think I know where they are. All of you have been chilling together the, the entire up. evening. Yes. But there was nothing there that warranted a rage it's, quit. Come on. His vein. Oh, sure. Like, you've been having fun most of the night. We've been having a good spar back and forth. I feel like everyone was attacking the fact that they were defending their points of views. I mean, if nobody else is going to say anything, then why on, tell someone the else to shut the, the fuck up? Like, I feel like speak the fuck up yeah, that's instead fine. of telling other women to shut the fuck nah, up. That's how it is. It's, I feel it's like hang on, hang on. I feel listen, like I just want to let you know, picnic dress. <laughs> I just want to let you know, that's the thing I respected the most. That they did defend their point of view. That they did hit back. That they said, fuck off, Andrew. I'm yeah. right about this. And I was like, yeah, let's yes. do this. That's the thing that makes me the happiest. Yes. That's why I don't get it, because they were clearly having a good time. So what was the trigger? You tell me. Everyone keeps what was the thing them that shut the made it snap? Up. I love the fact that they spoke their mind. My issue is <coughs> picking at every single thing is not... Every Hang on, blue dress. Let picnic dress Go. answer. I'm asking Thank her. You. That's their it's buddies, because... right? You've had base takes. I'm not going to disagree. You've had base takes the whole night, but let her respond. It's because they're answering questions the way they need to respond. Like when you guys ask us a question, it's very hard for a person with a very open mind to just say yes or no because the question is deeper and it's manipulative. And if you're able to just answer it yes or no, then that's okay. But there's also forces of powers that make you want to dig deeper. Like, I don't see why they had to shut the fuck up because they were able to decipher everything that was put in front of them and everything that was asked 
asked to them, they were able to dig deeper and, and figure out what's really going on. And it's just like, I don't understand why that's like, like something that we're drawing each other apart from. Like, I feel like that should build us all up. Like, we should well, all be asking more explain. questions. We should all be answering hey, on, differently on, instead on. of just yes let or no. Let me see if I can. We should be learning. We should be Hang speaking. on a second. I'm sorry. Let's do one. We'll do one point at a time, okay? We'll do one point at a time. I agree that absolutely if somebody is having a good faith exchange, they should not be silenced anything of the sort. But can you agree with me that things are either going to be true or they're not going to be true, right? It can't be both. It can't be an in-between. Either it's true or it's not true. That has to be true, right? This is one of those questions where you can't No, 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 no. It's, it's not a trick question. It really isn't. I'll explain it to you. One of the laws of logic, right? We're talking about the law of excluded middle. It's true or it's not true. It can't be both. It can't be in between. If I make a statement to you, I am X feet tall. If I'm not X feet tall, that was not true. And if I am, that was true, right? It has to be that way, doesn't it? Well, I'm willing to hear how it could be possible that somebody could tell both a truth and a falsehood at the same time. I am willing to listen. If you can tell me or possibly explain to me in any world you could ever envision how somebody could tell me a truth which was actually a lie, I want to hear it. It's not that a truth is actually a lie. I think that even when you ask us these questions, you have a certain expectation on what you want us to say regardless of what we say. So yeah, but, but it might yeah, I seem agree. like a false, yeah, I actually agree. even though I actually we are agree. telling our own truths. So what if your own truth was that when you look behind you, it didn't say whatever. It said whoever. And I said, no, that says whatever. Only one of us could be right, correct? Only one of us could be correct. But the questions that you're so asking who, hang on, who will be correct? are things that are, are not Well, hang on. Who, if back. only one of us could be correct, which one of us would be correct? If you said it said whoever, and I said it said whatever, who is actually correct? Is it old English, Andrew? <laughs> no, it's modern English. Who is actually correct? Is it Middle English, Andrew? No Middle English. You know what I'm talking about, and it's whatever. It's whatever. Is that the this truth? Is rage quit. Another rage quit. No, don't rage quit. Get it's back. Rage quit. You can't leave. We were it's in the middle quit. of an exchange. All right. If I'm going to be here, they're going to be here. They're not going to be here. Tell them to uh, come back. They tell them to come back. Yeah, Nick. We're having you, a good uh, exchange. Nick, you can go help convince. Okay, I can go talk to them. Nick will come with you, and you, he'll help convince. I don't think that'll help. <laughs> he'll help convince. I, I mean, I don't want to think against them. Like, huh? literally, I love the way they yeah, were Yeah, you can stay. You can stay. <laughs> that is a power move, though. She did drive. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, Burmese Mountain Tiger. Thank you for all the gifted subs, man. You're a fucking legend, dude. You are a legend. Oh, can you pull up Twitch really quick? Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. If you enjoy seeing people rage quit off the show after I tell them <laughs> to shut the fuck up, please drop us a follow. Boys, it's been big tea, bro. Guys, it was almost 16 minutes since we last got a Prime. Drop us a Prime sub, boys. If you, you, know, you enjoy us as content creators, you want to see us do more, we need your support over there on Twitch. Uh, okay, let me get. In, we gotta get through all my pre-show notes. There's a lot of pre-show. Okay, notes. hang gotta, on. Prince get... Andrew does not appreciate this. Prince Andrew, who is regal, who has a cape, does not appreciate. You remember earlier, I was referred to as a prince, Brian. Oh yes, Your yeah. Majesty, Your yeah, Highness. I don't approve. I don't approve of the rage quits. You know, there's this Bill Burr. I've mentioned this before. There's this Bill Burr bit where. If a woman's right in an argument, she'll stick to the point and she'll beat you. But if she's wrong, she'll like talk about other shit, mm -hmm. try to rile you up until she pisses you off and then you call her a bitch and then she just gets mad that you called her a bitch and then... Now you're in the wrong. And then now you're in so the wrong. You're, yeah. So you're saying that women never win arguments. That's what you're saying? No, they win. They, they do in they, that they, case. they win them a lot. It's because they beat you till you're tired and you're like, fine, you win. <laughs> Can, I, we need Who is this whole you're tired thing? You keep bringing this up. Me? It's what, what time is it there? It's like 10, 10, 10 right? 10. My brain Easy. just hurts from the It's 10 o'clock. 
Do you grab your walker at ten no. o'clock and you're like, oi, Midnight. I gotta get over to my bed. I gotta, Sitting I gotta wheel myself long, over my to my bed and go to sleep at ten o'clock at night. <laughs> Normally, if I sit still for this long, either I'm getting my hair done, I'm doing something, <laughs> just sitting here yeah, listening. To I know, but like that's the thing. I kind of want to go bring them back. Like I love their argument, but it's like them being passionate. But seriously, just everything was just an argument that's like I don't even want to interject anymore to talk. You get tired when you're just sitting here staring at people back and forth arguing. Mm -hmm. Let me get into my pre-show notes. So, were we? Were, did we go all the way around on her hard nose? Yes. Did everybody have a yeah. hard no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you said funny. If the guy's not funny, yeah, that's like deal breaker. If he's not, funny. yeah, are you funny? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Would you object to a guy disqualifying you because you lacked humor? I wouldn't object that. You'd be fine with it? Yeah. That chick's not funny. I'm not going to date her. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Although you typically don't hear men they disqualifying are. or caring about if a woman's funny. Yeah. So Damn. <laughs> she's so hot and attractive, but she's just not funny. I guess I won't have sex with her. Because she couldn't make me laugh. Won't have sex with her. Won't date her. Okay, we have Naomi... Psycho X went to prison for stalking you. <laughs> yeah. Super toxic, gave you an STD. What? What? And what? you told you? and told your parents first. 